everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about lipsticks. Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, my favourite. I think they are my favourite luxury brand lipsticks ever. Um, and I have a fair few in my collection. But didn't they only go and send me the Hot Lips 2 collection last week and I was just like... <laughs> thought that it would be a good idea to go through all the 11 lipsticks. Um, show them, be applied on the lips, no filter, no anything. You are just facing... I'm facing the window. Um, so this is like natural daylight. I have one of them on now. I'll tell you about that later. This is my favourite. And I'm happy that it's my favourite too. You'll see why. Okay, let's get stuck in, shall we? So the Hot Lips 2 collection is arriving in stores on Thursday, but it's online now at the moment. And there are five different designs. I'll show them as we're going through. And something worth noting as well is that one million pounds of the sales of the Hot Lips 2 collection are going to go to the Women for Women International Charity, um, which is amazing, like a million pounds. So that's just, if you are thinking about getting one of the lipsticks, it's just like a little extra icing on the cake. You get to do something nice as well. First up we have Dance Floor Princess and this was inspired by Kylie Minogue herself. Do you know what? Kylie Minogue was the first cassette, yeah cassette because CDs weren't invented back then, that I ever bought myself. Do you remember the one where she had like the black thing on her head and like her hair was all coming out on top? Do you remember? So the lipsticks kind of go between the kissing formula and the matte revolution formula. So this is one of the kissing ones so it's quite creamy. I'll show you now. It's quite creamy, it's quite pink toned. Really flattering, really wearable. If you love your nudes, your pinky tone nudes, I think you really like that. I think it's one of those shades that will lean pink or peach on you, depending on your skin tones. I think on me it looks a little bit peachier, but on my hand it looks pinkier, I think. That's beautiful. The next one up is Angel Alessandra, inspired by Alessandra Ambrosio. And I'm figuring, do you know, if I wear this, I might look a little bit like her. Probably not. This is one of the kissing formulas as well. And this is definitely peachier than um, Kylie's one so pretty um on me this looks nuder almost and um, than on the hand on, on my hand it definitely looks peachier on my lips it looks definitely more nude but um again creamy kind of glossy almost for me shades like this and the kylie one um they look better on me when i have a liner on because i am um, I, I don't know i feel like they're a little bit too pale for me i need like a little bit of definition around the lips that's basically what i'm trying to say very inarticulately I was very excited about this next one when I saw the swatches online. This is In Love With Olivia, inspired by Olivia Palermo. She is absolute ride. She's gorgeous. Who remembers watching, was it The Hills back in the day? And she was on it. Look at her now. Again, this is one of the kissing formulas and you can see that it's like definitely darker than the Alessandra one and has like hints of kind of peachy pinkiness to it. It's one of those like my lips but better lipsticks as well. Really pretty. But this is definitely more opaque than the other two shades, um, but just beautiful. This is called Red Hot Susan, inspired by Susan Sarandon. Love her, she gas, drove off a cliff back in the day. Um, and this is one of the Matte Revolution lipsticks. Now, this is more kind of a, I'll show you now, a terracotta red. It looks kind of more blue toned on my hand, but it, you'll see in the cutaways that it definitely leans more terracotta, kind of orangey red. Um, and yeah, this is really, really opaque. I found when I was applying this, it was hard to kind of get an even lip line. So I would definitely use um, a lip liner with this shade, just because it's so opaque and so pigmented. Next one up is JK Magic. This is inspired by JK Rowling. And if you love your nudie McNudersons, I think you're gonna love this. It's one of the kissing formulas. It is properly neutral on me anyway. It's a little bit too pale for me. What I would do with this, like look how creamy and pigmented it is. What I would do with this is um, have like a darker shade, maybe like the one that I have on now, and just pat this into the centre of the lips to give like a little bit of like a fuller look, to plumper look to the lips. It's kind of like a brownie pink toned nude. It's gas because on my hands these all look darker and when I applied them onto the lips, like especially this one, this one looked a lot more kind of concealer lips. Um, I would definitely, I wouldn't be able to wear that on its own because I, I think it would just, my lips would mesh into my face and then people would be like, look at your one, she has no lips. And I'd be like, I do, shut up, like. Anyway, that's JK Magic. This is Viva La Vergara and this is inspired by Sofia Vergara. She is married to my future second husband, Joe Manganello. Oh my God, he's such a hard look. Um, and look how, like this is her in lipstick form. If you were thinking of like what kind of colours Sofia would wear, it would be this. So this is one of the Matte Revolution lip colours and it's like a proper wine shade. So opaque, so creamy so pigmented and I think this would be lovely on me or like someone of my colouring in the autumn and um, you know if you want to kind of go deeper but like not too dark on the lips so beautiful the next one is inspired by a Hong Kong actress Karina Lau and this is Karina's star if you love your kind of peachy corally shades 
you're gonna love this. This is one of my favorites, obviously, because it's so predictable. It's one of the kissing formulas, so it's definitely more moisturizing, more hydrating on the lips, um, but still packs a punch in terms of color payoff, as you can see. This is the perfect summer lipstick for me. Feels really comfortable on, looks fabulous. And yes, Karina Star. I think that's gonna be one of the best sellers, especially for kind of Irish brighties like myself. Because we love a bit of color, but without going too mad, do you know? And now we have the one that I'm wearing now. This is Glowing Gen, inspired by Jennifer Aniston, who I love. I love her, loved Rachel Green. I just wanted to have Rachel's haircut back in the day, and now I just gotta have her lipstick. So you can see on me, it's kind of the my lips but better shade. And it's more of like a brownie nude, but it has that sheen as well. That's one of the kissing formulas. Um, so yeah, this is one of the kissing formulas. You can see it's more of a brown tone nude. And they describe it on the website as a tawny beachy rose. I don't think that that's rose on me. Rose to me would be kind of more a dusky shade, whereas this is more brown, but peachy, not peachy, but warm brown, without being like too mahogo. Like it's the 90s lip, but modernized. Drop the 90s lip. This is in my top three. I, ha I think I have four favorites. I'll go through them at the end. When I saw this next one, this is Amazing Amal, obviously inspired by Amal Clooney. And I saw um, on the Charlotte Tilbury Instagram page, they were showing that in action on ML, and I was just like, I need that. Looks beautiful. And obviously, I'm not gonna look like her. I know that, like. But this is one of the Matte Revolution shades. I'm waiting I show you. It's like a, it's not quite plum, and it's not quite burgundy. It's more of like a berry shade. Um, so pigmented, really, really flattering on. And again, I think this would be gorgeous in the autumn. I think shades like this makes people with green and blue eyeballs like look like they have greener or bluer eyeballs. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. That it's more of like a really sophisticated shade. So I'm gonna be very sophisticated when I wear this. Next up we have Patsy's Red, which is inspired by Charlotte's mom, Patsy Tilbury. Do you know what? I'd say she gets all the free makeup. This is a true statement red lipstick. It's kind of slightly blue toned. It's bright, it's summery, it's vibrant. It's one of the Matte Revolution formulas and this is gorgeous on. I think if I had to pick between that and the Susan's one, definitely prefer this on me anyway show you them. Oh wait. So that's the two of them there. So that's Patsy's and that's Susan's um, red. So you can see that that's more brown tone, kind of more orange. And this is bright, in your face. Hello, how are you doing? Finally, we have a lip conditioner called Enigmatic Edward. And this is inspired by the editor-in-chief of British Vogue, Edward Eninful. Never heard of him, not going to lie. It feels really moisturizing, really hydrating on. And I'm gonna give this a proper go because my pearl lips are always in bits um, at the best of times. So I'm gonna definitely give that a go as I continue to try out all of the lipsticks over the summer. Can't wait to get stuck into them properly. Um, but yeah, that's like a really nice idea. So the lipsticks themselves are 35 euro. They're available online now at the moment and then they'll be in stores on Thursday. And you can then, if you want, buy just the refills as well, just online as well, think you can buy them in stores. So what one was your favorite? Oh yeah, I was gonna to talk to you about my favorites. So, Glowing Gen. So these are my four favorites. You have In Love With Olivia, Amazing Amal, Glowing Gen, and then Patsy's Red. I just think they're gorgeous. First impressions are, I don't think that there is a dud in the bunch. Um, obviously, I think that there are certain ones that will suit my skin tone better. I think these ones will. The JK Magic one and the Alessandra one um, are just a little bit too pale for me to wear on its own. But I'm sure if I wore them with liner, they'd be fine. But I'm gonna play around with them and just kind of mix and match and see how I get on. If you were thinking about getting some of the lipsticks, I hope that that video was helpful so you could see them applied, you could see the swatches on the hand, you could see them on my lips, on my face, and yeah, I hope that it just gave you like a little bit of inspiration or a little bit of kind of, ah, I was gonna get that, now I'm not gonna, or ooh, I thought actually was nicer than what I thought it was gonna be. Thanks so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.